This morning we're going to cover how to remove a key or field from a document. In SQL Server this would be the equivalent of removing a column except that in MongoDB remember that we can remove a the column equivalent uh, which is the key or field depending on what you want to call it on a document without it affecting all the other documents. So all we're doing is removing it from a particular document not the entire collection of documents. So I'm going to go ahead and load Mongo here and we're going to go to the database that we've been working with, uh, SQL Server. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove one of the one of the fields to one of the documents. And we'll notice too as well that it will not affect all of the other documents. So let's look at what we have. Um, we have financial and number and of course ID which is auto-generated. And if we look, what we're going to do is we're going to update the document with NO period for the value number. And it's going, it should look very similar to this. The difference is it'll be financial one, but it will only have an ID value and a financial, I'm sorry, it will only have an ID field or key, of course, and a financial field or key. And again, in the world of SQL, these would be the equivalent of columns. And we'll notice that when we update the number, uh, column slash key slash field, that what will happen is, is that it's not going to affect all the other documents. It's only going to affect that one document. Okay, so we will call our database, we will call update, and we are looking currently for the value of where it is NO period. Okay, so we're specifying this. If I'm not careful in this clause, where this the, the equivalent to this where clause basically here on the update it would actually update everything which is very similar in, in SQL if you were programming in T SQL you always want to be careful when you run update operations um, because you could actually um, mess things up and then I'm going to call the unset operator that's how we're going to remove this particular key slash field in this case and I'm going to say the number is blank now this is not going to set it to null and I know, especially in the world of uh, SQL Server in SQL, where we see this as, oh, well, this is null or blank. It's an empty value, okay? And I'm glad that um, anyone would think that because this is this is a difference here. So we're going to call this, look at the syntax for basically DB SQL Server update. We're calling the collection, then update. We're specifying which document we want to update. Then we're unsetting this field slash key here, right? All right, now let's call our document, and then we're going to type it for more, and we will notice that it has changed. And you can see where is our new value. It's at the very bottom, right? It now looks like this second field right here. I'm sorry, I said second field. It looks like this field uh, right here with only two values. I'm sorry, yeah, two values and two keys, and this one, of course, has two keys and two values. And I, I say key sometimes or fields and that's because um, you will hear the word fields a lot in Mongo and if you're used to a key value pair it, it's like that so I'm going to use those as synonyms essentially a key and a column and a field are really all the same thing the value is what's in that it's the same thing with SQL Server values are stored in columns now notice let me go really quickly back to that notice how it didn't affect everything else right so here's a document that we updated but notice how all of the other documents, number is still there. Of course, if I wasn't careful, that wouldn't be the case. So that's, again, one of the differences with um, a, an arrangement like SQL and NoSQL here, or what is specifically in this case MongoDB, is that this document only has uh, two keys with values, whereas this document here and here and here and here, they have three. That would not happen in, in a SQL Server database. You would have to have a null value. 